We all know the benefits of drinking water and keeping the body hydrated. Drinking alkaline water helps improve the blood's viscosity, which in turn helps the blood flow more efficiently through the body. DK Spring Water is alkaline water. DK Spring Water, bottled at the head of the springs in pristine Buff Bay, Portland. Available in 280 milliliters, 500 milliliters, 1.5 liter and 5 gallon bottles. Call 627-9114 to order yours today. DK Spring Water. Taste it. Know it. Love it. Good afternoon. Welcome to Open the Show for Saturday, December 24th. I heard Louis Armstrong song, What a Wonderful World. Well, yes, it is a wonderful world, but most people are the ones that makes this, this world what it is now. I was at a restaurant earlier this week, and I heard a slight commotion outside. And when I looked, I saw a gentleman, apparently he had a stroke. The left side of his body was slumped. And I heard some people kiss the teeth, as well as the co-owner of the restaurant, stopped his wife from going out. And he, he, he was very firm in stopping her from going to assist. It came to me that earlier, a horseman and a official and a tipster and a clocker Donovan, the clockman Cunningham, who had a stroke and being not attended to in time, apparently succumbed and he died. He'd be sure to miss. That's the clockman, the leading tipster, many times champion tipster. I think he has won the most tipsters competition in Jamaica. And he's an integral part of the track and pool. The Open Dead Show sends regrets to his family and friends, as surely his children. And, you know, looking at the race book, at the section where the tipsters are, and still see his photograph, you know, it begs to wonder. Life is very funny. A lot of people are going through a lot, and even their family or their friend, maybe their wife or girlfriend, doesn't know. The hormone oxytocin has just been discovered that when it is low, well, it is lowest when people are under stress, as well as when, you know, things are not right. For example, on Fridays and birthdays, and Christmas, as I mentioned earlier in the show last week, females tend to be a glow. It's because of the high amount of oxytocin that is being produced at the time. It is discovered recently that orphan animals, that the young animals, that is, that their mother regardless of it's a sheep, a human, or whatever, if given a dose of oxytocin, they will... Well, not the mother, sorry. They, the, the nursing mother, they will, they will take akin to the orphan foal in sheep, in horses, and, and etc. Quite amazing discovery and quite natural. But we are racing at Cayman's Park comes tomorrow. It's very interesting that the fixed odds have emerged in the Christmas and a lot of money have been given away. Well, of late, the fixed odds that are affixed to horses are coming, uh, should I say reasonable, or they are coming down towards reality. You know, earlier, a lot of horses that are, that have excellent chances have gotten good odds. 
9 6 tomorrow. Post times approximately 12 noon. First race is named after Gary Sobrati. Gary Sobrati had a stint in Scotland where he learned from steeplechase horses. And then he stopped a while in Florida and then he came to Jamaica and gradually started to make his name. And now he's one of the leading trainers. He has a lot of relatives who are owners or and trainer as well. And Gary has been a top three trainer for the past three or four years. Some would except for this, it's a major condition race. For little bit four and up, they go six and a half furlong or 1,300 meters. Number one military shot fit well with these. She stumbled out the gates the last time, December 10th, and finished 16 and 8, 6 behind Sue so Emir, uh, Flame Carrier, etc. Already ran okay against a wee bit better. And this at this approximate distance. Number two, Madame Catalina comes off a short sojourn with a fair display on the 20th of November going five foot on straight at five to two, a lot of support then. Finished third, four lengths behind. The Colin Ferguson horse, where your honor, and so Amir, who came back and won. Madame Catalina was three and a half lengths behind those two who, who fought, it, fought it out in a head bob and finish. That was one of two career best display if breaking OK, could figure in the top placing. Number three, Sherwood Forest, a debutant, big, strong colt, who has been around for quite a while, has issues. And this journey is likely he will need this race to show value. Not sure I like how he looked on Monday when I saw the forest. So, you know, I'm a bit iffy. This horse is bred for danger by me, so by double is due. Tariq Anderson owns this horse, as we Richard Strain, as a great farm limited bred. Michael Anderson, as the groom, Chef 1000, is aboard. Number four, Silver Soul, has done nothing much in 35 career starts, and uh, has been running frequently all season. Patience belongs to Job, but he died hundreds of years ago. However, with this rider, Rayon Lewis, on in such a field as this, I guess you have to consider her. I want to, for the win that is. Number five, Absolute Blue, low speed again, coming off a long sojourn and ran well. 10th of December going five rounds round up with the leaders and faded a bit to be approximately eight and a quarter lengths behind the winner Soul Amia and Flame Carrier. At the Furlong Paul was changing his lead a plenty, and that's not a good sign. Well if either he needed the race or something else. Speed will take him a long way, and at least he'll be in front. I have to take number five, so uh, absolute blue. So number two, Madame Catalina, number one, military shot. Number four, silver. So, second race is named in honor of trainer Fernando Geddes. A good horseman, former jockey, and he had worked with the legendary Ren Gonzalez. Uh, Fernando is a trainer now and is a humanitarian, very nice person. And it's a pity that some of us veteran trainers aren't, get, aren't getting enough horses to train. Saying that, racing has taken a different uh, level whereby owners 
most owners, I should say, and a high majority. They are owners, they are trainers, they are grooms, they are vets, they are handicappers, they are everything. And trainers who want to train have difficulty in being comfortable with these type of people. Yes, I say it, and it may go against me, who the cap fit wears it. This is for choosing up optional claiming $250,000. Eight, six to clear rather, six for low 12 foot meters a go. Number one, part of the princess racing frequently. Tried chasing the winner, Storm Valley, from the off, and eventually um, Wheaton, but held second, second spot, settlement behind the winner. Even more relaxed going six furlongs and back with the figure eight, which she won all her career victories with, but that's on again. Number two, will have been a bit fresh and have the rider who won at reasonable odds approximately the same time of year last season in mid-December. Number three, sharp skirt. Anthony Thomas knows her well. So too trainer O'Neill Marklin and Well Suter. So let's see what Stephen Todd can do with, with this, this nine-year-old mare who is potentially a bit better than these. Number five, Uncle Wall looking okay when seen, but has multiple issues. If physically fit, can win. Number six, Adwa, last twice she raced, came back iffy. Still, this is a suspected field and anything goes. Tough race due to so many iffy entrants. Number one, though, Party Princess. For number three, Sharp Skirt. Number two, Willow Dean. Number five, Uncle Wall. The Open Gate Show is sending shout out to trainer, veteran trainer, Philip Thompson, Harry Jagai, Anthony Barker, Life at the Beach. This race is named in honor of the reigning champion trainer, Anthony Nunes, of course. What can I say about Anthony Nunes? He has won all the major races and has done very well and uh, is an integral part of our horse racing in Jamaica and has a barrage of owners behind him to keep the game where it is trying to stay level. Uh, six to clear again. But this is for made a special weight, made by two years. Five from straight over 1,000 meters straight. Number two, Bazinga. Ran well on the 10th of December, going five furlongs round with Anthony Thomas, who is on again. Up with the lead and finished second, a length and a half behind show girl. Bred from Speed Stallion, successful native by Queen of Baghdad by Market Rally. Bazinga. Should be should be comfortable against these and open her uh, account. Number three, to kill a mockingbird, a debitor, born the 6th of March, a big quote by Lan Tamer, out of Newton's first law by Stormcraft. Even Miller owning and bred the source, Anthony Hulke, the groom, trainer, a Marlon Anderson trains, female, a jockey, a big girl, able will ride. To kill a mockingbird needs time but is a nicely conformed horse and in, in, in a short while, barring an issue, I think this horse will be doing okay early next year. Number debutant, number four, truly begotten son. This horse was born the 16th of March, a big quote by Bird Identity, out of Sexy Moon by Rising Moon. Ralph Brissett, the owner, O'Neill Hines, the breeder, Patrick Smelly Groom, trains rather, and Kenneth Mullins, the groom, already show and rides. Uh, another who still will need to go with a few more races before real potential can be shown. Uh, I, I think, though, not number three, the killer marking bird will finish in front of this one. Number five, Piggy Wiggly. Someone was dreaming having this horse to be a selection to win. Well, the first selection. Some dreams do come true. Remember, I say some. Number six, true identity has 
Being behind number five, Piggly Wiggly, far behind number two, also Bazinga, who was second on debut six, on the 10th of April, gets the figure eight and lay six now and has shown some improvement since the figure eight was on in that workout on Saturday the 17th of December, out the gate 48 flat, putting up in one minute and two fifths very easily. I'm like number two, but then go from number six to identity. Number three to kill a mockingbird. Number five, Piggly Wiggly. Fourth race, name in honor of Redford Smith, the trainer. Redford Smith, humanitarian, highly respected, genuine as you can find. Surely a man of class. This race is for chosen up. The claimant rate 650,000, seven declared 1,600 meters or one mile they go. Number one, high diplomacy, showed sudden speed on the 26th of November, going on, going this journey of a mile at 27 to one. Up with the leaders, faded a bit to be fourth, five minutes behind Ras Emanuel's Shibum and China Max. Come down the notch in claim and facing a bit weaker, but there are quite a few horses there who have a very good chance and high diplomacy will have to go to be able to be on top of themselves to win, but should again a place on the board if focused to do so. Number two, Seeker Traveller, this combination, Modern Connection and Trader Robert French and Ray Lewis had a recent win with a horse with nowhere for uh, nowhere form that's Kyle. Form cycle of Seeking Traveler uh, ain't bad. And with that could figure in the top four slot. And the three blood song was surprisingly claimed by the champion trainer Anthony Nunes. A very unpredictable gelding who has since been looking improved in condition since in the new barn. Number four, Wilson has two runs now of a sudden. His last showed speed and will be more relaxed uh, come tomorrow uh, 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 at this journey. Good chance to win if he, he runs alike. On the last, number five and all the bullets was ahead of number three, Blood Song, by one and a half lengths. When winning at this tag and distance on the 28th of May, uh, almost in pole to pole fashion, another bullet coming off a brief despite. Number six, Atlantic Blue. The Atlantic Ocean ain't blue all the time. Number seven, Burn Notice, bought privately by Atomica, by the Atomica Connections. Of course, we all know about Atomica. And Oak Ridge Farms. Really, it's interesting how much they paid for this horse privately. This owner has never claimed a horse, but Trinity Girl Sobriety has done well with new recruits and Burn Notice. Is a four year old, remember that, and has back class. I'm selecting him, number seven, Burn Notice. From number four, Wilson, number three, Blood Song, number two, Secret Traveler, number five, another bullet. Well, he may find another bullet to fire here as he's trained by the wily Patrick Lynch. We go for a race, for a break at race five. And I will return.
We all know the benefits of drinking water and keeping the body hydrated. Drinking alkaline water helps improve the blood's viscosity, which in turn helps the blood flow more efficiently through the body. DK Spring Water is alkaline water. DK Spring Water, bottled at the head of the springs in pristine Buff Bay, Portland. Available in 280 milliliters, 500 milliliters, 1.5 liter and 5 gallon bottles. Call 627-9114 to order yours today. DK Spring Water. Taste it. Know it. Love it. Welcome back. Remember to subscribe to Roving Hit Show on YouTube. It's more than advertising racing. There are a lot for you to listen to. The Roving Hit Show tries to play a part in keeping the horse racing industry buoyant. Race 5 goes 6 for more travel meters, maiden condition rate for Nita Bed Trios. 8 declared for this a journey, number 1 true rally. Race 10 times with one good display. And it was at this very distance of six furlongs. That was on the 12th of November when she came from way off the pace to get within two and a quarter length to the winner, Sergeant Charge, and had friends of the family ahead behind. Did the speed collapse then? Or was Riley? true on that day. Ellis goes 2.5 kilos to ride. Let's see what the truth will be comes tomorrow from this one. The two King Air flash some speed both times the figure it was on and that was recent. Racing for the third time in 13 days gets Omar Walker back on. Well, let's see. Number three caveman gets first time figure eight and looked improved in that workout with that equipment on Wednesday the 14th of December. Two furlongs flat in 24 and four fifths very, very easily. Cave one is very light, so maybe you could talk this one in your lower exotics. Number five, print, print quality. Quality tried to print on the 28th of November, going five and a half furlongs at 13 to one, finish ahead third, the Melrick and 4-5 four, 4-5 five, uh, four, five came back and win but his board was ahead behind in third had two subsequent starts which were okay Prince Quality has a chance of winning this number 5 Code of Conduct is the speediest here and could hold for a top 3 slot all depends on how the track is playing if you notice the speed is old enough in the earlier races, then code of conduct chances are enhanced. And the fixed surety will be more will surely be earning his keep again. Number seven, Prince Tiffany, Anthony Thomas from Woodward Page, from time figure eight on after the debut on the 26th of November, when up the hand leaders and weakened. The winner was never on a Sunday, another way in second. Zan Prince III. Uh, that field was a reasonably tough field. And with all these changes, surely Principal Tiffany should run an improved race. I don't expect her to win though. Number four, print quality for me. Number five, code of conduct. Number one, true rally. Number two, King Air. Number six, a surety. Going back to the oxytocin topic, there are a lot of times I project happiness when I'm doing the open gate show. And you know, come to think of it, it just came to me about this oxytocin um, revelation. Surely it is a fact. And doing the show, there's a lot of oxytocin circulating in my blood. Anyway, race six, name it honor fit for Glispie. Entrepreneur, owner, breeder of race horses, former jockey who rode a few classic winners, as well as a trainer who trains a few classic horses. 
a very serious person. And, you know, it, this individual is decent and is well respected. As a jockey, he was like lightning fast out the gates. And once weighed 86 pounds. The fiance rather than in. You can call and make your reservation at 876-704-624-527. That's 876-704-624-527. It's located at Port Bush and Catherine. Truly a place to stay, especially for race fans who are coming from afar and there's a double or triple meet. Eleven declared for this 800 meters straight for five and up claiming race, 150 to 180,000. Also, Native Bread 60 and up was, was only one, one race, one race, and Native Bread 5 old and up to our main. These are all eligible for this race. Number one, Nasdaq Princess mm, could be tucked in your lower exotics. Not much high five races on tomorrow due to the small field. Number two, Slice Stallone. Uh, I'm leaving alone. Slice Stallone, even with Sharon and his board. Number four, Hail Mary does well when at this claiming level of 180,000. Number five, Boss Izzy can win if all is well with he. Interesting, he is, he is um, here over this route, which there is a $1 million purse money race within eight days time where he is very qualified to run in. Hmm. Well, let's see. Number six, crushing power, visor and tongue tie off. Sorry, Vazen Tontai on and Christopher Dean remains has speed, but all of it is the issue. Number eight, explosive charge could earn a very low exotic spot. And I should even go back to number seven, Avery Allen from the Balvert Mall, from the Michael Mall stable. Michael Mall at times get these horses to hit the board or hit the lower part of your exotic. So remember that. Number 10, Matriarch, back from a long sojourn, looking in okay condition, but should need this. Number 5, Boss Izzy. Number 6, Crushing Power, did I say that? Number 4, Hail Mary. Number 10, Matriarch. Number 8, Explosive Charge. Remember, I am me. I'm leaving Slice to run out, but he can carry, as he can even win. Race 7, named on of Peter McMaster, a trainer, businessman, owner, breeder, highly respected individual, and a man who loves horses. Some of the players for this, they go 1,820 meters or 925 yards. It's for restricted allowance for native breads, for the up, who was only won two races and imported, for the up, who was only won once. Moana Langilala looks the one to beat on paper, but paper ain't much except for money, checks, and legal documents. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> Langilala can fight this out. Number two, Maya could have done better coming off a hiatus on the 3rd of December, going 7th of 991. Uh, was at the back and came on path in town once to be six, seven and behind Regnant and Zion, Silver Fox and company. Will be more focused now, surely, I can tell you that, and can get into the top three. Number three, Omron has been doing okay and really looked zippy. The 17th of December, that Saturday, in that two further gallop in 24 and the fifth, another with a top finish expectation. Number four, JJ Warrior, one of two to have one going around two turns. Been a while he's, he, 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 he has shown any form. Um, was placed in claim on the 19th of November on 750,000. 
Queen Femfor on a madman to one finish eight and a half and choking behind turn on the light and varied the boy, etc. Come there suspiciously and must be taken into serious consideration for a mild upset. Number five, it, it is what it is, close connection with number four, JJ Warrior. And uh, at Well, it, 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 it may be what it is in that this horse can, should have a very good chance of winning. Number six, to cat me the glory has won only two races, both at huge odds. And um, lost by a shot at, at similar odds earlier. In, uh, in early November. Well, in, in number seven, right in flight, the only other to have won going two turns. Any one of these seven horses can win, but my top five, number three, Amram, number six, to cap be the glory, number five, it is what it is, number two, Maya, number one, Longilala. Atris, his name is, is the Jamaica Racehorse Training Association. This association was headed by the legendary Vin Edwards, who has made valuable contribution for trainers at Caymanus Park. This race is for is a restricted love race. It's for native trios who have only won once and imported trios who are made eleven declare. Five volume straight, or a thousand meters straight, they go. Number five, top it good, could factor somewhere in the low exotics. Number six, unruly dude, been looking in good stead of late and can do well here. And could fight this out. Number eight, no more deal, probably was sold for a deal <laughs> after the July 9th race. Ran right out the straight recently and could do some good coming out this route once again. Number nine, Hago Sumi, that means Chinese dumpling, was highly thought of from the earliest. Seemed to have a high liking for the straight course and is well drawn. Number 10, Lord Birkington, another who adores the straight and is nicely drawn with Robert Halliday. On, on again. Number 11, Phonometer bought privately and get back Anton Thomas, who had him going well twice. One of these, number six, Unruly Boss, number eight, No More Deals, number nine, Agassimi, number 10, Lord Burgerton, number 11, Phonometer. You can figure which way you want to put it, but that's my order of preference. The final race. Race nine. The Open Get Show applauds Bet Maker for helping local horse racing to be stable and more than likely to improve come season 2023. This race named the Bet Maker's Holiday Bonanza Trophy number two is for restricted is a restricted safe race for imported shows not who haven't won two races and shows and four years. Need to bread who has only one strife. Six for a long road, 1200 meters they go. Number one, take a punt. As already better the top one here on the 12th of November, going six and a half furlongs. Close when the speed collapse and won by a shot at getting up in time to beat Talona, Slammer, and still companion Luxor. Number four, Luxor, consistent filly who should. Factor somewhere in the top four. Number five, Talos ran once on the turn and it was at this distance when he won very easily by seven half length. That was on the 11th of June, yes, beating Gilbert and the gift from Ben with here once again. Uh, this horse went to claiming. Since, since, and well, for only 750,000, and that says something. 
got picked up by Trino Fernando Dennis, who did, who did okay with that one after he was claimed. The last time this was run for, it was under Trino Fernando Dennis' guidance, 26 November, going far from straight, finished second, three days behind Prince the Shooting Star, and had to order a length behind. Number six, I give from Ben more suited to the strip as she can relax off the lead and try to close to gain a century before all at the winning post. Number eight. Number eight, KP Choice could find a low exotic spot. Number nine, Freedom Street won well on the 6th of November, going six and a half furlongs with Shane Ellis, pulling away to a match six and a half length beating Stomp the Rhythm, and I like it. Number 10, that slammer was disappointed the last twice and get yet another jockey change. Has first time Pfizer and tongue tie on, this time and could get it done now. Number 11, Talona, working okay, and the sleep customer can do well. As on the 12th of December, going six and a half furlongs led at 22 to 1 and lost in a head bop, although with disqualified, take a punt, won that race, and Slammer was turned ahead behind. Um, came back, well, had two subsequent races after, and um, run okay, but uh, we get first time visor, and you know, chances are Talomo will, will run well. Now, with the reigning champion jockey, Anthony Thomas, on. Number 10, Slammer, number 11, Talona. Number 4, that's Luxor. Number 6, that's a gift from Ben. Number 5, Talos. Subscribe to the Open Gate Show on YouTube. It's free. If you don't know how, ask someone. Merry Christmas to all. Happy holidays. Join me on Saturday afternoon when I try to help you for the Monday race card.